really want to write this story, but I'm so terrified that she's gonna reject me because like I'm nobody, right? Like in my mind, I'm like, I'm so small and she's the Lauren Anderson. So I reached out to Lauren, just sent her an email, and I just said, hey, can I just talk to you? And she's like, sure. We set up a time, you know, I'm trembling. And I get to her office and I'm like, I sit down on my little notebook that I prepared that was all my little notes about why I want to write about her. And she like leans into me and she's like, you write about me? <laughs> And she's like, you want to write about me? I still remember today, just flushed with emotion and she kind of got to be, you know, a foot big and she leaned into me and she said, you would want to write my story. And from then on, I think it's just been magic. <sighs> I haven't always had dance in my body. But I have always known rhythm. Yes! <laughs> the clock of jump rope, double dutching on sidewalk, lips on fire holes, whistle drinking, balls, kick to the beat of grooves, chest and ankle, and good catch. <laughs> the board was symphonic. My name is Deborah Deep Mouton, and I am the writer and director of Plum Sugar. Started out as a poet from a very, very young age. My mom used to say that I would carry a notebook with me instead of stuffed animals. You know, I'm not originally from Houston, so coming into this city as a transplant, you know, over a decade ago, I wanted to feel the pulse of the city. And I, I didn't want to live as someone who was just visiting, but I wanted to make a home here. I kind of guess I was brought back to this idea of community and who in my community did I feel needed a bigger stage? And, you know, Lauren Anderson has a big stage. She, her shoes are in the Smithsonian, right? She's not an unknown person. But for so much of my understanding, I didn't know about her growing up in California. And I thought that that was an utter shame that I wouldn't know a woman who had done what she did for the Houston Ballet. And so I took huge risk and I wrote Lauren an email that said, can I come meet with you and talk about a possible project? Lauren is such an important part of the city of Houston, and she's so important to me. Uh, I'm not a native Houstonian. I moved here in 1981. I'm from a very small town. Uh, things like dance lessons and what have you were not available, but I always knew about the ballet. So moving to Houston, you would have thought, here I am in this new big city. I'm going to take advantage of all these different arts organizations and finally go see a ballet. But I didn't. I, I was intimidated. You know, I was intimidated by the facility. I was intimidated by the audience because I didn't feel seen. But then one day I was reading the Houston Chronicle and I read that the Houston Ballet had named Lauren Anderson as a principal dancer and she was gonna play the Sugar Plum Fairy. And I immediately, um, it became a big part of the reason why I love Houston because it was a city that embraced, you know, this amazing, you know, woman of color and was putting someone on stage who looked like me that I could go to that show and it made me feel welcome, you know, at the ballet. I know my story. I know the ups and the downs. I know like the, the highs and the lows, but there's so much in between that I'd forgotten about or that I didn't really want to talk about and didn't really want to bring up. And she got there. She got to the core of me as best she could and as far as I've ever gone. Uh, and I know from performing when I've done a role that is um, even as simple and one-dimensional as the Sugar Plum Fairy, 
I've gotten to the core of the Sugar Plum Fairy. I've gotten to this place where I have become the Sugar Plum Fairy. So I feel like she's done that to my story. And it's a scary place. But it's one I'm willing to go. It's w I'm willing to go there because I want to help somebody. I want to help somebody. I was helped. Somebody helped me. And the way they did that was by telling me their story. And I related to that story. And they had a way out. A master class in movement for all the ages. Yes. Oh. The perfect performance, if there ever was one. <laughs> and not because we hit every move right, but because we didn't have to be anything less of ourselves to be enough. You guys, Plum Sugar, story of my life coming to stages in September by Deborah Deep Mouton. It's got intrigue and drama and trauma and Houston and me. It's about me. If I was ever gonna have anyone tell my story, it would be Deborah. The thing is, she captures me. It scares me. It's weird because in a weird way you complete me. Mm. It's, I, I didn't know that. Mm. Um, and I'm looking forward to, see, to seeing who she sees me as. Mm. Or I should say who I see me as. Mm. Plum sugar, it should be good. No. <laughs> It should be really good, actually. Who bears the body in blue Beat by the sun Holding all the night The flightless birds Making the sprawl look easy Clipped wings and door yearning to